key to peaking your physical shape for finals, two power tips, and none of them should be revolutionary, but just hopefully a friendly reminder. So if you've been on our program for the majority of the year, it's a pretty high volume program in, in terms of how, as far as how football strength and conditioning programs go. So you've been putting in the work. Now's the time where we really want to um, strip back the volume. We're not working on your work capacity in these areas or not even really looking to develop uh, each quality. What we are trying to do is just make sure we're well in tune with our strength, with our power, our change of direction, our running skills. So we're sharpening up all the work that we've been doing over the last nine, uh, eight months that you've been on the program. So now's not the time to grind. It's the time for intent and intensity. So to allow for in high quality intent, which is just your focus when you're in the gym for every rep and every exercise, rest periods and rest days are critical. Okay, so I highly recommend if you're not doing it already, and some of you do have multiple sports and other activities to try and uh, prioritize two full rest days throughout the week where you're not exerting yourself physically. So maybe there's some active recovery, like a light bike ride or some light cross training or going for a walk. That's no problem at all. A bit of movement's good, but you're not pushing yourself uh, from a conditioning sense or from a strength and power point of view. You're not looking for an adaptation or a stimulus. So uh, two days on the program, you'll see that will be on our Monday and Sunday. Power tip number two, is have cluster sets up your sleeve. So I'm not programming cluster sets at the moment due to the rep ranges are quite low, anywhere between four to six reps. However, have them up your sleeve if you're feeling like you need them. So for example, on Tuesday, we've got a set of five, five, five sets on the, on the box squat. You've got a set of five, a set of five, and then two sets of four, and then last set is a, a rep range of two to four. How you use a cluster set, let's say you do your first five, feels pretty good. Your second set of five, you do a three, then you rack up the bar, you wait 20 seconds, and then you finish off your two. So you've clustered that set, you've broken it up into two mini sets. This week, we've got on our um, blog post, Wednesday blog post, it'll be on physical preparation for Australian rules football. So for those, particularly in the off season, we want to start setting some goals this time of year about what you want to get out of your um, strength and conditioning. Great blog post to read. I'll, I'll post it on Wednesday and email it out. So if you're not on our email list, which all the Academy members would be, but for those listening to the podcast, if you want to receive updates about our blog posts and any presentations that we're doing, make sure to head over to preparelikeapro.com and you can just sign up to the email newsletter and we'll be uh, publishing that on Wednesday. So it's all about conditioning your energy system development, how to get faster, how to, how to get better with your capacity. So your repeat speed. And then of course your aerobic capacity for things like improving your ability to run out games. Uh, and, and the main measure of that will be using how do we use our 2K time trial or whatever fitness test you do at your club to guide your um, targets in your uh, conditioning program over the off season. Moving into the podcast now, we're going to have... Um, Chris Carlo, as I mentioned, at 9 a.m. on Monday, uh, he worked at the Seattle Seahawks in the NFL and he's also published a book. So really looking forward to interviewing Chris. On Wednesday, our um, interview that we did last week on the Prepare Like a Pro Live chat show with Brendan Eagleston, the rehabilitation physiotherapist in the Melbourne Football Club. His talk was all about how, it, how to have an objective process in your rehab so for physiotherapists it's a must listen and also for athletes listening as well we discussed his four key pillars to ensure that not only have you are you ready to return to play but you also return to performance um, so make sure to tune in on that one that will be released on wednesday so we've moved our tuesday interview based podcast to a wednesday episode just to spread out the week a bit on friday another live chat that'll be at 3 30 p.m with kelvin giles he's got over 40 years of experience and his key topic of discussion will be athlete and coach development pathways so really looking forward to um, chatting with kelvin and then also a heads up uh, our next live collaborative event will be with social influencers those that are dominating the online space all australian and doing great things um, with social media so if you want to enhance your marketing skills or your engagement on social media, this is the live chat to catch up on. It's going to be on September the 9th at 3 p.m. We have Shepmates, Kados, Prime Train, and 9 to 5 Fitness. So four 
really good um, guests. They're going to talk about their journey and their, their and, and what you know success leaves clues. So what's worked for them in building an online brand and presence.